Hey y'all, I'm James Wright, and welcome to Wizards News. On the 12 tasks of Christmas Niantic gave to me. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. They just released some information on the 12 tasks of Christmas, and it is coming up here very soon. Now, in my last video, I said the 17th. I'm sorry, I was thinking about the brilliant event, not the actual 12 tasks of Christmas. That's starting on the 20th, so it is coming up right around the corner here. Now, the rumor mill has been working overtime about what are the 12 tasks of Christmas. Is this going to be like the song and it is incredibly long and there's lots of tasks? Are we going to have to do this all in one day? Is this just going to be on Christmas? Is it going to be longer? Uh, we've gotten a little bit of information, but they just put out all the information. So we're going to go over here to Instagram and we're going to go to Orange Wizard. He is one of my favorite sources. And on here, he just put together this infographic that has all the information we're looking for. This task does seem to be a little bit easier. And so I wanted to come over here to the infographic because really Everything you need to know is on this one infographic. And basically, it is 12 tasks, 12 individual tasks. It's not a set of tasks, so you have to complete three and then go on to the next three and then go on to the next three. There are 12 tasks that can be done at any time in any order. You don't have to do them in order. You could do brew five potions right off the bat and then send 10 gifts. Uh, there are these 12 tasks that have to be accomplished over the course of the time. The event starts on the 20th and then goes through January 7th. So, wow, we've got a lot of time to work on this. 18 days, over two and a half weeks. So this is going to be starting during this current Brilliant event, and then it will be going through the interim and could possibly be even running until we start the next Brilliant event. Uh, so this is something that will be happening for quite a while. Now, most of these tasks are really easy and fairly simple, but a few of them are a little difficult. So let's actually go into these and look through it. Number one, pick up 10 gifts. Um, I've had a whole bunch of people asking me questions. I've been going to inns all day long and I haven't gotten any gifts. It's probably because you have 30 in your inventory you can delete them from your inventory and then pick up more, but you're going to have to pick up 10 gifts from inns, fortresses, or greenhouses. Number two, you're going to have to send 10 gifts, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, if you don't have a lot of friends or they aren't picking them up as fast as you'd like, you can actually go on to the Wizards News Hive Mind group. It's a Discord server. I'll leave a link to it down below. And uh, We have a uh, friends list on there where we're, sh where we're sharing friend codes. Um, and this way, you can make sure you get new friends and give them 10 gifts. Last, you're going to have to open three gifts. And so that's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, open three gifts. You have 18 days to do it. Dine at 30 ends. Now, some people are going to have a little bit of an issue with this, but you do have 30 days to do it. So even if you do two of them a day, just like you would normally do for the daily tasks, you're still going to be able to get in these 30 ends in 18 days. Complete 10 wizarding challenges. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. You want to just bash through them, you can just go to your ruins and go through those quickly, but 10 challenges have to be completed. This one's the kicker that has been having a lot of people talking about. You need to complete one challenge in your highest chamber. Okay, uh, me from the future here, they just announced that they are actually going to be changing this rather than it being complete one of the highest chamber you've achieved, which would be very, very difficult for some people who've been dragged up to higher levels. They're going to be changing it to defeat 30 foes in wizarding challenges. So uh, stay tuned, they will be changing that up so it won't be quite so hard. Eey, that's nice. Let's get back to this. And for those of you who went all the way to Dark 5 with a group of five somewhere and now there isn't a group around, uh, this could be a bit of a challenge. So try and reach out to the local communities. Uh, you may be having a little bit of a hard time trying to get that one done. Next, we're going to be going into a series of spell casts. Uh, number one, 100 good spell casts. It should be fairly easy. I mean, it's a lot of foundables, so you're going to spend some time out grinding foundables. But 100 good spell casts. The next 30 great spell casts. Now, this may be a little bit harder, but still not that bad. If you're doing 100 down here, you're probably still going to get 30. Remember, you have 18 days, almost three weeks long to complete this. And then this one. This one's probably going to be a little bit difficult for some people. Three great spell casts in a row. Everybody knows the spells that they're good at. So you know if, if you're great at Defendo, try and find the foundables that have Defendo on them. And you may mean passing over a few others until you get to them. Um, yeah, um, play this one strategically, especially if it's getting later in the 18 days. But do remember, you do have 18 days to do it, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get three great spell casts in a row. Next up, brew five potions. I hope you can do that in 18 days. Uh, and then use 10 potions. That should be fairly straightforward. And then return 10 high threat level foundables. 
Uh, this should be fairly easy now during the Brilliant Event because the high threat level foundables are up and a lot of the flares are high threat level. If you are having an issue with that, you may want to go and put three dark detectors on a high spawning end. Uh, so in other words, you go to a location and there's a lot of regular spawns there around the end. That's the end you're going to be wanting to put dark detectors on. That will produce more than going to an end where there aren't a lot of normal spawns on there. And that then will give you a much better chance of getting your high threat level foundable. But do remember, you have 18 days to do this. So even if you do one a day, you'll still have eight days left. And with all of this being said, you're going to be getting five red books. You're going to be getting three dark detectors and another green book, as well as 80 gold and those precious, precious silver keys. Three more silver keys. So this is actually a, a good deal of, of uh, stuff coming in. This is, this is going to be kind of cool. And because we are getting one green book for this, it probably means the next brilliant event we're only going to be getting 14. Uh, seems like that's how they do it, but we'll see how that actually goes. Also, on the official Wizards Unite page, they are listing that all gifts during this time period will contain bonus rewards. And Phases has uh, said those will be books, keys, and gold coins. So you will have the chance of getting some other things during gifts. So during this whole time period of the 20th of December through the 7th of January, uh, you will also be getting bonus things in the gifts that you open up. So make sure you're sending the Christmas gifts and you're opening your Christmas gifts and getting more items. Because because gold, keys, and books make everybody happy. So this event is a little bit more simple than others in the past, which I think is a good thing because it's a very busy season. Also, stretching it out over 18 days is going to make it a lot easier for some people. I know that there are people out there who are the grinders, and they're going to be like, wow, it's going to be really easy. I'll be able to finish that in an hour or two. Um, in which case, yeah, um, it isn't that difficult, but it is still going to be a decent amount of work. And for a lot of people, Stretching it over 18 days means it's a little more flexible and you can fit it into your schedule. And especially with the holidays, it'll be very nice to do that. So remember, you can do these tasks in any order at any time. You have 18 days to do it. It should be a rather relaxed, easy event. And I think a lot of people are just going to enjoy the season. And there are quite a few good bonuses for this one. So I'm really looking forward to completing this. I'm interested to see your thoughts on it. Uh, a lot of people have different things that they noticed that I didn't. I'd love to hear those down in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see links to the places I'm talking about, those are down in the description, which you can go down below. There's a little down arrow, down arrow you can click and open up the description to get links to those. So I hope you're having fun with the brilliant event so far and getting out there and returning all those brilliant foundables. <laughs> this has been a really fun one, and I'm looking forward to enjoying the 12 tasks of Christmas. So keep an eye out, and I will be bringing news as soon as we hear about what's coming up around the corner because uh, there's some New Year's stuff coming out and then we got the whole fun of next year. So I think that'll about do it for now. And until next time, have a magical day. And we get to open up two today because I didn't put out a video yesterday. So the 16th. And for the 16th we have... <laughs> Mad-Eye Moody. Yes. And for the 17th we have... Ooh, Albus Dumbledore. There you have them. Mad-Eye Moody and Dumbledore. Kind of cool.